Hi, I'm Kev from 24-7 Blinds, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at everything you need to know to fit your brand new wooden blinds. Now that you've received your wooden blinds, it's time for the fun part. 24-7 Blinds include all of the mounting brackets and safety devices with every blind they sell. It will be up to you to provide screws and raw plugs that are suitable for the surface you're attaching your blind to. So once we've unpacked everything, then we're ready for the installation. But before we can get started, there are a few tools that you're going to need to have available. To fit your wooden blind, you're going to need a drill with an appropriate drill bit, a metal tape measure, a Phillips or cross head screwdriver, and a pencil. And as usual in this video, we'll be referring to all measurements in centimeters. Okay, so if we take a look at the main blind unit itself, we'll see that on one end we have the control cords which will raise and lower the blind, and then on the other end we have the tilt cords. Now these will have been preset as per your order, so it should be pretty self-explanatory which way round the blind should be installed. The next step then is to fit our wall brackets. And your blind, like this one, will come supplied with two of these end brackets. And if in the case of this blind, yours is quite a wide one, it will also be supplied with one or more of these center support brackets. These brackets can either be fitted as a face fix, which is perfect for blinds that hang outside of the recess, or top fix, which is for inside the recess. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, when you're deciding where to seat the brackets within the recess, it's important to consider any potential obstacles, things like window handles or locks. As you can see in this case, this handle is sitting about three centimeters forwards from the back of the window frame itself. So when I come to mount the brackets, I want to put them approximately four centimeters forwards. This will give me a good clean drop every time the blind is used. Okay, so now it's time to mount the brackets and we do this by offering up into position. Don't forget, we're four centimeters forward from the back of the recess and I've got it nestled nicely against the side of the recess as well. Hold it up in position with the opening doors upwards like that, and then using a pencil, go up through the hole at the bottom and mark your two drill holes. And once they're both marked, repeat the process for the other side. Next, if we've supplied a support bracket, this needs to be marked as well. You need to be careful here because often there'll be a mechanism right in the middle of the blind. And if this is the case, the support bracket would need to be fitted slightly off center so it doesn't interfere with the operation of the blind. So we're all set. I've got my cordless drill all charged up and ready to go. And I've got a suitable masonry drill bit attached for this wall that I'm gonna drill into. The other thing to consider is a pair of safety specs. I wear these just to keep the plaster dust out of my eyes. But if you don't have any, then be careful. Okay, so now that we have our holes drilled, the next thing we need to think about are pushing our wall plugs in. Make sure that you seat these flush all the way into the wall. Next thing we need to do then is offer up the brackets and screw them into place. So with the brackets firmly in place, it's now time to fit the blind. Offer up the top rail straight up to the brackets together and then simply close the bracket doors, one after the other. You'll feel them click into place when they're locked. Next, we need to add the valance. This just hides all of the working of the blind behind this decorative finish. 
peel off these sticky tabs and offer up the valance onto the top rail. These sticky tabs are actually Velcro, so if you need to remove and replace the valance later, that's not a problem. Unwind the drawer and tilt strings on both sides and we're almost done. So there you go, we're almost there. The last thing you need to do is fit this, the child safety device or cleat as it's sometimes called. Not only will this stop this cord from flapping loosely in the window recess when the blind is up, but also it will keep all these cords safely out of reach from small children or pets. So let's extend out the raise and lower cord to the full length, then position the cord tidy at the desired height, mark off the holes with our pencil, and we're ready to drill the final two holes. We simply finish this off with the final two screws and remember to tie the raise and lower cord around it in a figure eight every time the blind is lifted. So there you go and as you can see the raise and lower cord does also have its own safety breaker just in case this is pulled too much. So there you go. As you can see, you've now got a beautiful wooden blind installed. The raise and lower cord, well that does what it says on the tin. And over here, and the tilt cords, well they look after the angle of the slats. Click one of the links below to take a look through our huge range of colours, designs and styles to make your room look fabulous. And remember, we're always creating new styles, blinds and window options. So don't forget to subscribe today so you don't miss out.